Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bear Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm doing better today. Stomach's feeling a whole lot better, thank you. Um, for anybody that was worried, I was feeling pretty poorly yesterday. Um, I did some pre-recording of some videos and my stomach was in, in knots. And so it had me kind of moody, so I wasn't my normal self. And um, I'm sure it showed, but I'm better today, so there's that. I did try to cheat on my diet, but it didn't work out too good. <laughs> Me and Johnny went and uh, mailed some packages, and uh, then I stopped at Sonic. I wanted a burger so bad, and I ate like maybe a fourth of it, and it didn't. It just didn't. I just couldn't. I just couldn't eat it mentally. I just couldn't eat it. It just didn't taste like I thought it would taste, and uh, I was like, why? I was, my, I, you know, had myself like, ooh, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to have myself a burger. And I took like maybe three or four bites at the most. And they were small bites. And I was like, Johnny, I can't eat this. And he's like, I'm not hungry. And I was like, oh, okay. So guess who got to eat the rest of the burger? That's right. The Beg Brigade. Theo, Axel and Theodore got to eat the rest of that burger. They were happy. <laughs> It was over half a burger. They were happy. So it didn't go to waste. <laughs> and I don't have the guilt. I ate a few bites of something that I shouldn't have eat. I didn't, luckily it didn't mess with my stomach. But, um, you know, I just, just wanted it. And, uh, you know, you just have a hankering for something and then you get it and it's not what you thought. And you're like, hmm, okay. <laughs> anyway so I got some yarn content for you today uh, I, I don't know how many y'all know this but I live right down the road from Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby yeah is it any wonder I don't have more yarn than I do <sighs> it's a good thing I'm not rich <laughs> there wouldn't be room enough in this house for all the yarn that I'd have if I was rich let me just tell you because uh, I live that close. Even though the Hobby Lobby, uh, there is there's two Hobby Lobbies in my area. There's one here in Shreveport, and then there's one across the bridge in Bossier. I like the one in Bossier better. It's small. It's a bit smaller, and it's a bit better run. Uh, the people are nicer over there, and um, people are generally nicer in Bossier than they are in Shreveport. Just, just as a rule, basically, even the people in Michaels over there in Bo Bozier are nicer, and the and the Michaels in Bozier also has a riding cart, and the one in Shreveport does not, uh, because someone broke it and they too cheap to replace it. And the Michaels in Shreveport is bigger than the one in Bozier, but the one in Bozier is just better run. So, um, I, I've been to the one in the Michaels in Shreveport, but. It has, it probably has more yarn, but I don't know. It just doesn't, I don't, I don't like it as much as I do the one in Bossier. But the, there's only one Joann's. So, and the best way to shop from Joann's, and I'm sure that um, Penley Ann Creations would probably agree, is to order online and pick it up. <laughs> That's the best way to shop at Joann's, is to either order online and get a discount that way and have it delivered you know mail order or to order it online and have and go park and let them bring it out to you that's 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 the best way you get the best you get the online discount with the pickup order you get a better discount uh, and you don't have to walk around the store and pick it up yourself uh, so that's what I did and I got I got some more of something I already have but different colors so just to let y'all know but um i have plans for at least one you know at least one color of this but this is the karen uh colorama halo perfect phasing <laughs> but i have a yellow loving friend um and so the, this is you know we got christmas in a few months so i'll be making her something for christmas out of this i don't know what yet if it'll be a sweater or something else i don't know but I took into making her things for Christmas and birthdays, and I know how she feels about yellow, 
so voila i got two of these for her and the specs on this is it says it's a five bulky but it's really just a thick four um but uh it's 71 percent acrylic 18 percent nylon and 11 percent polyester it's 481 yards eight ounces 227 grams it recommends a six millimeter knitting needle and six millimeter crochet hook and it's machine washable and dryable and uh, <laughs> these are so soft and this is the this is one of the most beautiful yellows i have ever seen to me that's a sunflower yellow really and let's see the colorway they call it beeswax frost and so i got two in this color so i got enough to make make her something be it sweater or be it something else i don't know yet but um uh, yeah yeah oh my goodness oh, i always wanted to have the yellow even though i'm not yellow is not my favorite color but i do like yellow and i always you know kind of admired the yellow ones but uh, didn't want to i didn't have occasion to buy to buy them until now but ooh. so i got two of that one and then two of let's see what's this color called rose garden look at that one gorgeous see this one does have this is like a i would say this kind of starts off as like a dark rose color uh you know kind of more reddish than pink and then it goes pink and then it has like a i don't know it's sort of turquoise but more more of a minty color really but it's just beautiful i'm not really hung up on naming the colors that it has in it more or less just enjoying just enjoying how it looks and it feels and so um I'm probably going to, because I really like that granny square pullover uh, pattern, and I really can make that pretty easily. And uh, these these would be perfect made up that way and making some set sweaters and selling them. So I don't, uh, probably locally, I could probably do that when it starts getting cold, uh, start making some of those sweaters. And so that's part of, part of why I got some of these, but I got two, two each of these colors is what I got. Um, but I got, they were the best deal I could get, um, cause regularly these run eleven ninety nine, and I think I got them for under $8 a piece. So, um, I don't have the, the little receipt with me, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that I got them for, <sighs> yeah, cause I spent, um, about 33 bucks on four. So I thought that was pretty good. Um. And um, I was able to order them and pick them up in the same day. So I like that very much. And um, I've had them in my cart for a while. <laughs> I was just waiting on the right price. And um, yeah, today was today was it. I just said, well, why not? And so uh, Johnny and I went down there and, and picked these up. And then Kroger is right next to it. Kroger is a grocery store here in case y'all don't have those where you are. Um, and Kroger was right next to it, and we neither one of us felt like going to Walmart and doing grocery shopping, so we just popped into Kroger right there and got stuff for just tonight. And uh, so we got uh, they had some um salmon burgers. I, I like seafood, I like I like uh salmon and, and seafood, and I was like, salmon burger that sounds pretty good. So they had them two for two two in a pack already fixed up and i was like we could put some breadcrumbs on them and and spray you know some foil with some butter or, you know butter spray and bake those and i could have them and some vegetables for supper that would be fit that would be good and so and then i got the boys is the boys some pork steaks and uh that were marked down so um there's supper for them and then um I was talking to Amy the other night and we were talking about I needed some snacks because maybe I won't keep me from getting hangry like I did the other day. I just, I was just like snap, snap, snap at people because I was hangry. <laughs> and she said, well, how do you feel about pork rinds? And I was like, I, do, I like pork rinds. It's just the salt content usually gets me because I, I, really salty things just starts burning my mouth. Um, so I had to watch that. But, um, 
I found some that weren't terrible, didn't look like they were too salty. And I looked at the, um, the nutritional facts, zero carbohydrates. So, hmm. So I had some pork rinds for a snack. And then I'll have my salmon um, burgers for the dinner. <laughs> and some vegetables, some broccoli. And then tomorrow I got to go mail another package uh, and, uh, cause the last minute thing came through anyway, but, um, so tomorrow we'll go mail another package and then we'll go do our grocery shopping again. And, uh, hopefully I can just, you know, relax the rest of the week, hopefully. <laughs> That's the goal anyway. And work on my blanket. I think I'm going to, uh, start working on some Boggy Creek blankets. I did, I did a couple last year and sent them to Nancy over at uh, She's Got Yarn too. Uh, yeah, if y'all hadn't checked Nancy out, you should go check Nancy out. She's a beautiful person. And she um, does these uh, blankets for this uh, um, special needs kids um, camp called Boggy Creek. And um, they need, you know, every year they do these blankets. Well, she just started last year uh, with the blankets and the, I forget the measurements. I'm sure she's got a video out where it in the description it'll tell you what measurements to do the blankets but um but you, you send her the blankets and then she takes them to the to the camp and the kids get to take the blankets home when they go to the camp and uh they have doctors and nurses on staff so these children with chronic uh conditions uh can go to camp and actually enjoy you know summer camp um like normal kids and uh which is fantastic I think every kid should experience summer camp and uh, these kids get to go and have a good time and uh, and feel supported uh, while they're there uh, both medically and emotionally supported while they're there and um, and so I want to make a couple of blankets for that uh, or as many as my little finger can, fingers can make between now and um, December you know so I'll probably be making some um, blankets. Um, I got lots of um, uh, sweet rolls that I'll probably make those out of. And um, I got some yarn coming from Hershner's that um, there, there's some yarn in there that I'll probably use. Uh, some new yarn that I hadn't touched yet that I'll probably use for a Boggy Creek blanket. Um, but um, yeah, so I just got to figure out uh, how the, my stitch count because I want to make sure that I make them the right size this year because I don't want to make it too big. I mean, you, I mean, the bigger blankets usually get used for staff, um, doctors and nurses. You will get the blankets that aren't the particular size that they asked for. Uh, so they're not rejecting blankets that are too big, but they do want a particular size because it goes over the bottom of a twin size bed and that's what they're looking for. So, um, there's a particular there's reasons behind why they're asking for a particular size of blanket so um anyway um just thought i'd throw that out there um i'll link uh nancy with she's got yarn to uh in my description box i'll put a little link to her channel and you can go over there and look and uh, look for her boggy creek um videos where she t goes into more detail about uh the size of blankets and um you know that, that sort of thing uh, they, they really like them to be acrylic, um, you know, so that they can just machine wash and dry them without a problem. Uh, you don't want to use your high-end yarn for that sort of thing because they, they need to be able to be washed and dried and not have to have all that special care because they don't, they don't have time to, you know, hand wash and hand dry stuff. They're trying to tend to children. So, um, just a tidbit there. But I forget the measurements, but th it'll be on a video of hers. So, um, but definitely that's that's on my to-do list is to make some Boggy Creek blankets um, between now and December and send them on over there to Nancy in Florida is where she's at. And um, so I encourage y'all, if you have the time and the means to make some Boggy Creek blankets, um, I'm sure Nancy would appreciate it. And I know the kids in, at Boggy Creek would appreciate it. Um, Cause uh, we can't keep everything we make. So we might as well put it in the hands of someone that would appreciate it. And those children appreciate it. 
and the brightly colored they are the better off you are um, no colors off limits um, I don't recommend doing anything in black because black makes people sad makes me sad so brightly colored um, is encouraged so um, I'm sure I'll be you know I don't really own a lot of black yarn <laughs> If you look, I don't do black yarn. <laughs> Not typically, anyway. Uh, so, there you have it. Uh, but, uh, anyway, cheerful is the way to go. We're trying to keep kids cheerful. And not focus on their ailments, but focus on fun. But, anyway, uh, that's about all I got for you today. Uh, I hope all y'all have a wonderful day, whatever day of the week that you are watching this. And please know that I love you and so does Jesus. And uh, please adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye now.